Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are starting a new Let's Play series for Star Wars The Old Republic and this time I'm creating a Jedi Knight but I'm also using the Juggernaut combat style. So I already have the character created. Let's go ahead and load in and get the story started. Welcome to Tython, Padawan. Everyone at the temple is looking forward to meeting you. Your former masters praise your combat skills. They say you're becoming an expert duelist. Who are you? I'm sorry. I don't think we've been introduced. Sorry. Darren Weller, watchman of the training grounds. I greet new arrivals. Show them around. The Jedi Council will assign you a new master to oversee your final trials. You'll be tested in ways you can't imagine. But when you leave Tython, you'll know what it means to be a Jedi Knight. More importantly, you'll know yourself. I'm eager to face these trials. Where do I start? There's a speeder here that will take you to... Hang on. Getting an emergency signal. <laughs> Flesh Raiders? Armed with blasters? He must be mistaken. Holy, I just realized how how large his hands are. <laughs> Regardless, it's trouble. I'm mistaken or not, that Padawan is under attack. They've never come this close before. Flesh Raiders are a species of hostile natives. They're smart enough to use tools and violent beyond reason. I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan training grounds right away. Especially you. Just point the way. I'll handle the rest. Take the speeder outside to the training grounds, push back the flesh raiders, and find out if they're really using advanced weapons. Go. I'll catch up with you after I alert the Jedi Council. May the Force be with you. And also with you. And there we go. So, a new character created. Uh, I guess I can give some backstory now. Uh, now, I'm not exactly sure what I'll be going, uh, whether good or bad for this character just yet. But at the moment, uh, I created him as a Zabrak. Of course, uh, you do have to, for this race, you have to actually either complete a character to level 50 that originally was it, or you can unlock it with cartel coins. And then I have a character in the past that was a Juggernaut, and I decided uh, to kind of create a Jedi Knight as one. Now, I know it's going to be using some dark abilities, but uh, some of them... I guess they, they might fit for kind of this type of character. So I guess we'll see how things turn out. Kind of just a bare beginning to uh, do a new adventure. So that's uh, that's kind of why I'm here. Now we have a ton of items we'll have to pick up at the mailbox in a little bit here. But I've been wanting to kind of create a new character again for a little bit now. Um, I'm not sure if I'll leave the name on top of my head all the time, but you are for now, that's for where it's at. Routes. Make our way over to, uh, where is this? The Gnarls. Take a speeder to the Gnarls. I haven't been on Tython in so, so long. It's been uh, quite a while since I last created a character, too. The last one I did was the Trooper, and that, that Trooper series still did pretty good. Uh, so if anybody's watching this from that, let me know in the comments. Same thing, if you guys enjoy these Let's Plays, please let me know because uh, that lets me know how, how often I should be creating episodes and how much of a priority I kind of have. Um, the better videos do, of course, that always encourages me to... Uh, to go back and continue and make sure that I'm putting out content for that because people needs, are actually watching it. He does. So just let me know. Uh, where's the mailbox at? I know there's one nearby here. Pretty sure. Oh, there it is. It's right behind me. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna have a lot to pick up here. So, let's grab all this. Now, right now, I'm currently not a subscriber. Um, is picking it up? Oh, okay, it did. There we go. Um, at the time of recording this, I kind of just wanted to start a new character, see how it goes. And then um, I'm also leaving. Most likely by the time this posts, I'll be away for about a week. So this is kind of one of, going to be one of those series that is playing while I'm away. And then when I come back, I uh, will continue with the series as well. So I'm going to try to get like two or three episodes of this in the meantime, though. That way they're they're there, they're available. And we can decide what else to uh, to do from there. Go ahead and collect all these. This is one of those fun parts where you have so many items playing since, what, 2011, I think, is when this game released. Tauntauns. We got Shea Vizsla. Encrypted Transmission. Pick up that. Got some new armor now. Got this too. Equip that. Now, right now, this character is on the what server am I on? I'm trying to remember. The US, it's one of the US ones, not Shatil, Shatil Sean? I forget. I honestly forget. All oh, right, Starforge. Starforge is the server that I'm currently on. So. Now that we got all of that discovered or unlocked, I actually didn't mean to open these boxes, but one of them gave us good armor anyway, so it kind of worked out. Now, next thing I want to do real quick here is actually look at my collection. I still have a bunch of cartel coins currently. So, oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are watching this video, um, in the Discord, my personal Discord, I have a... Star Wars The Old Republic channel, and every day there's this flash sale, it actually gets posted in that channel. So if you do wanna kinda get better notifications for that, feel free to join my Discord and you'll see that every, uh, literally every day. There's one post a day for the flash sale for the day. Um, this one's actually pretty cool. I guess this is kind of, I think this one's probably new. This is most likely Obi-Wan Kenobi's, like, outfit. Can I see new stuff? Uh, actually, we're, we're probably okay from now. I just want to make sure my character is set up, uh, how I want him to be at the moment. So, let me go through this. We're most likely, my idea was to use an outfit that has a hood on it. So, I forgot about Zen uh, or Fen, Fenzeal. I don't think I've ever used him as a companion before. Let's grab, I'm gonna grab the Sinister Warrior armor set and then just hide the face mask part, part of it. So, whip this. And we're not going to have any cash at the moment. I mean, even that looks pretty cool starting out. And since I'm not a subscriber currently, I don't have the possibility of switching between combat styles, but that's fine. Um, I was able to select Juggernaut. That's what I wanted to start with. I'm not even sure what I'm going to make my second combat style yet anyways. So it, it kind of works out. Um... That is all good. Where is the outfitter? And then, wait, is this for a, is this subbed only? Subscribers can toggle display helmet. Wait, really? That's a subscriber feature? This item can be purchased for a single or all characters for on an account. I did not know that helmets was a subscriber feature. 
Wow. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's interesting. You really can't toggle it on or off? Wow. All right. Well, let's run without the helmet for now, then. That's fine. It's not going to be a huge boost anyways. Like, it is what it is. Let's, ro let's roll like this. Okay. Let's, uh... Sorry about the little delay there. But... Right. Get started now. I named my character off of, uh... I was going to do Denerim because I recently played Dragon Age Origins, but I decided to change it to a Z because he's a Zabrak or Zabrak. <laughs> and uh, that was the closest thing I could think of at the time. So that's uh, a little backstory on my on my actual character's name. I was kind of surprised that uh, Denerim was already taken. So many tutorials. I mean, I could turn it off completely, but I usually leave it on because it, sometimes it can be a good refresher for me. Personally, especially af after it's been a while. Um, I do have, this is how I usually set up my classes. I'm actually gonna turn it off for now. Because we are in the very early on stage. But as for my keybinds and everything, I used a previous uh, setup or interface setup that I've used for pretty much all my other main characters. So that's where I I logged in after I created the character just to do Good. that and Flesh check Raider settings. Shot me in the leg while I was rescuing some Padawans. Don't know where these things got blasters, but I know how to use them. I've been evacuated to a med center, but the fighting isn't over. I was expecting reinforcements by now. Some are already here, but Flesh Raiders keep pouring in. That's why I'm calling. Another Padawan found a cave tunnel the Flesh Raiders used to enter this valley. I need you at that tunnel, making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. I'll find this cave tunnel and seal it. We need to end this conflict before anyone else gets hurt. Find the tunnel along the mountain range. May the Force be with you. All right. Secure the cavern. Let's make our way there. Go and clean up this mess. We'll kill him since we got the aggro there anyways. I always forget about this ability. Attack of the Flesh Raiders. What's the other one? Oh, locate the agent of the underworld. Right, right. I always forget that you have to actually go to the that mission. Now, right now I have um, the chat completely turned off just because of whatever things people might be saying uh, and to possibly add a little bit of immersion. If you guys think I should leave my name over my head or not, if it's distracting, whatever, just let me know and I'll, I'll take it out. Uh, but for now, I guess I'll kind of leave it. I got invited to a clan literally like within two minutes of loading into the game too. I, I accepted it anyways because you get a little bit of a XP bonus. So that doesn't, doesn't bother me. And if I have any questions, it's a good place to start. I usually have some, actually, I do have Darth Hexed I could use instead of Shea Vizsla. But I think for right now, it's not a huge deal. I honestly forget all the character companions for the Jedi Knight. Each storyline I've already done at least once, but... During the time when I played, I wasn't really doing a lot of YouTube stuff. So I unfortunately don't have any footage of practically any previous characters I've, I've made. 
I did do some on stream on Twitch back in the day, but Stop struggling, Padawan. back then I wasn't life exporting was over that. The moment you set foot here. Because the order must evolve, and you are weak. What's happening here? What's this all about? Hmm. I keep forgetting that it's already voice acted. Dangerous. <laughs> so that's my mistake, guys. You killed my soldiers. <laughs> Not attacking. Cleansing. And we have only begun. No, you're done. I'll do some cleansing of my own. Now we might go dark since we are a juggernaut anyways. This is too easy. But I I really haven't fully decided. It might be situation based to be honest. You do all right? What happened here? Thank the force that you're both safe. This man's no Jedi, at least not one of us. He organized the attack on the training grounds, called the Flesh Raiders his soldiers. I warned the council these natives aren't mindless beasts. This is proof. This lightsaber, there's something familiar about it. Strange. You held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. <laughs> Impressive. Give me a real lightsaber and see what we can do. Let's let's see what that says. I deserve a decent weapon. And my enemy doesn't need his anymore. This weapon can help us discover who the man was. It's going to the Jedi Council. This battle's over, but we don't want any more flesh raiders coming through here. Holy camera shake. <laughs> that should hold them back for now. How can I do that trick? I want to learn how to do that. Well, spend a few decades practicing, and you'll pick it up in no time. Who never wonder your power cooker to Ronti? Not yet. I'll get you to a med center. You seem all right to travel alone. Report to the Jedi Council. I only just arrived on Tython. Where am I going? Follow the path leading out of this valley. You'll find the Jedi Temple through the mountain pass. See you there. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, let me check so there is one setting i do have to make real quick um i i want to be able to see the alignments of yep here we go alignment gain so this will show us if i choose a light side option it'll show me before i click on it um actually like when you see one two or three but you don't even have to hover over it it'll just show you it so i always like turning that on because then you can kind of know before you click on anything and most of the time i usually press one two or three uh without actually scrolling over it and then clicking on it so time to get out of here and head back over to the jedi temple then i have a feeling we might go dark side <laughs> as this character if you have any suggestions, though, if you think that a light side is more fulfilling, let me know. Um, we might go in, the, in between, make some bad choices here and there. But uh, I haven't fully decided, and I know I said that a few times, but it is the truth. Open up the powers. Do we have a fast travel ability? I always kind of forget how that works. Quick travel. And quick travel over there isn't there like a 30 minute cooldown or something 
when you're free to play. Okay. Seems like it's instant. I thought there was a timer for it. Should I temple speeder? Sometimes the game doesn't really tell you when you can actually just use a speeder too. Uh, it seems to be a common glitch for a long time now. Because right there is literally faster for me to take the speeder down to the Jedi Temple rather than just walk down the path. Sometimes it, it'll show like the purple logo on the speeder icon. But I guess in this case it, it didn't really do that. Which is fine. Whoops. Started pressing R. Numlock is the uh, auto run. Now, uh, usually I do these types of uh, videos on stream, but this time around I kind of wanted to do something a little bit more relaxed and shorter form. So that's why we're doing a off stream let's play series. Padawan, I'm Satil Shan, leader of Satil. the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. You have my full attention, Master. What do you need? This isn't a discussion for a calm channel. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. Okay. Just like that, we're already talking to Satil. Is at the end of the hallway here. Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled flesh raiders and a force user armed with a lightsaber. That must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you all right? Don't worry about me. I admire your composure, but have you truly searched your feelings about this? Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does the killing. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. But the man I fought wasn't angry or fearful. Not on the surface, perhaps. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion, there is peace. Remember those words when times are darkest. And take this. The code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the council chambers. Okay. We got our first uh, new weapon, it looks like. And what are these two abilities? Retaliation and Smash. Hulk Smash channel hatred <laughs> all right let's make our way up to the jedi council i wonder if they're gonna yell at me for killing the guy but technically i mean i sort of i i think it was gonna be a fight like that regardless it's just i initiated it here we go I searched the temple archives. This force user leading the flesh raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Kira. Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. Someone want to bring me up to speed? We're just having a nice end of the world chat. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other <laughs> masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. 
The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. I think you've been misinformed. We clearly underestimated the natives. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it with the help of my new Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in him, stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. It will be a privilege. Don't get too excited. You're in for some hard work. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. Okay. Get supplies from Master Orgus's chambers. Let's make our way there. I think uh, Kira, if I remember correctly, is going to be one of our companions. But it's been a little bit. Uh, blast those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues <laughs> ran out of things to say. Have you always felt this way about your fellow masters? Don't misunderstand. They're good people. I just prefer to get things done. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. Why'd you choose me? Is it, I feel like that's a good question. I get the impression you haven't had a Padawan for years. Why did you ask to train me? As Jedi, you learn to trust your instincts. When I met you in that cave, my instincts told me that I was meant to train you. I don't know why or for what purpose, but the living force brought us together for a reason. <laughs> Thanks, Windows. <laughs> you think the force is alive? That it wants something from us? Want is too strong a word. Let's just say we'll accomplish more together than by ourselves. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally, but frankly, we need them. Please tell me this isn't a diplomatic mission. The Twi'leks are in the thick of it. I suspect you'll have to fight your way to them. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. Find out everything the Twi'leks know about Flesh Raiders. I'm ready to get back out there. Do some good. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you. Okay. So we have to go meet with the Twi'leks. Twi'lek or Twi'leks? What do you guys say? I want to know. I think, uh, for me, I've always said Twi'leks. Um, but I know some people always say Twi'leks. I don't know what their correct term is, though. I mean, I, I think it's hard both ways, but I'm curious what you guys usually say. So, uh, looks like the Matriarch's building is actually pretty close by. It's right around the corner. I think when we hit level 10 is when we get our first, um speeder ability but I'm not sure I think it is uh, unless if it's different for somebody who's a non-subscriber anymore Calicori village would that be closer um maybe not yeah let's try going down this road I'm gonna change my name to Padawan. Padawan is Zenrim. Oh no, it would. <laughs> it's so much closer. I should have. 
Oh well. I've always loved the environments of these this game they're always so good there's so much to them and then the conversations like that that's why I've, I've been wanting to do another let's play of this game because the the dialogue and the choices and all that is still so good even in 2022 greetings matriarch master orgas din has sent me to help you fight the flesh raiders so the jedi finally deigned to recognize my people's suffering how noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. How did you learn about the attack? It only just happened. We heard the sounds of your battle. Watched the attack from a safe distance. Now you know what we endure. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watched them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people. We... We suffer. Mother... You need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. The matriarch appears sick. Does she need a doctor? Thank you, but we have our own healers. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear. They hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. Nice of them to keep everything in one place. Makes it easier to destroy. Destroying the weapons won't be enough. But I'll just get more. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders. Sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? Their technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage mm. would thin the Flesh Raider numbers and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. Either one of those plans could work. My people aren't afraid to fight for their homes. We just lack the means. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. Master Jedi, I'm just a uh, Padawan, but thanks for the uh, thanks for the promotion. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of episode one here. So, uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. And let me know if you got any comments or suggestions for the future episodes. Uh, for now. That's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.